Hi Management 7500 students, this is Steve Wagner, your uh, professor, and this is the midweek minutes for week two of module one. So um, hopefully you are uh, oriented to class and you understand the layout um, and you're prepared to submit uh, the assignments that are coming due. You do have the open book quiz that's due tomorrow. You uh, should be posting your initial posts to the case study discussion. Uh, and then on Sunday, you should do your follow-up posts to the case study discussion and submit your experiencing OB assignment. And I wanted to touch base a little bit uh, on that assignment. Um, we're focusing a lot this chapter on managerial decision making. And one of the things I think you're seeing in this is that as human beings, we are flawed in some ways in our decision making processes. And, and that's okay. We're flawed in lots of different ways. And uh, one of the reasons that we dominate the earth is that we've figured out ways to adapt. And hopefully what you will get from this class are some tools that help you to adapt as a manager. So this week I'm giving you a number of tools, worksheets in that experiencing OB assignment, asking you to think about a time when you had to make a decision and then reflect on it with these tools. Now you can look at these tools as just part of an assignment for a class where you look at them and finish the assignment and submit it and be done with it. Um, but I would hope that you might find some value in these tools uh, as you go forward in your career. I know that I uh, sometimes use those tools. Sometimes when I'm in a, a meeting uh, with a group of people and we're trying to participate and make a decision together, uh, I will use that rational decision-making model as a way of generating um, different options and criteria to choose between those options. And going through that process, uh, you get you know more people thinking about it and you get greater acceptance by doing that. And many of the other tools, uh, I think, are, are useful too. Um, and so what I would suggest is uh, with this assignment and, and other assignments is that you download some of those tools. You put them in a folder and, and you keep them for the future. And hopefully that will be a dividend that pays off in your career somewhere down the line where you need to think about, well, how am I going to sell this decision to other people? Well, you can use that tool where you're analyzing who you need to communicate with about this decision and what you need to tell them and how you need to tell them. And, and while it is just a, a simple worksheet, uh, sometimes by committing to the process and, and seeing through that process, um, you can improve uh, your performance, your performance as a manager. And, and it would be my hope that you have the opportunity to do that. So I encourage you uh, not just to use those, those tools as part of an assignment, but to download them and keep them and hopefully use them in the future. Well, um, I, again, you've got a lot of assignments coming due, so I'm not gonna take more of your time. I encourage you to contact me if you do have any questions. Again, you can use my cell phone, you can email me, you can use the course questions discussion board. Um, and uh, I look forward to uh, talking with you more as we go further in the class. So have a good one. Talk to you later. Bye.